Chris, victory today at, at Crystal Palace. First of all, your thoughts on your team's display? Uh, amazing display, different type of display. Uh, a display that I love, of character, of attitude. Difficult conditions, as you know now, windy, pitch was dry. Different situations that occurred on the, on the pitch. Basham having a cut knee and a cut head. Uh, Xander coming into the team. George on a booking after about 15 minutes against a side who really went after us first half. We weren't expecting that. Usually, you know, quite conservative in their approach first half and go for it second half. They flipped it on its head um, today. Delighted to get in at half time 0 0, and I thought we had more to come, and I, and I, and I, and I believe we showed that second half. And particularly second half, I mean, first half didn't create a great deal, but stuck in the game second half just seemed to get better as it went on. Well, definitely. I mean, as I said, the most passionate, positive Sheffield United supporters, um, you know, wouldn't expect us to come here and absolutely dominate a team of Palace's experience and quality and big names. And, um, and obviously, um, we knew that. Very astute manager, very experienced, did a lot of work on us, I believe, in trying to stop us, which, which I, I totally understand. I would do exactly the same. It's a different formation that um, maybe they've come across before and, and, and it worked. They jumped on Ollie Norwood, they jumped in our centre half. We could have been better with the ball. We needed to be a bit more mobile uh, in, uh, in, in our play. But we stuck in there. I didn't believe that they would continue in terms of the way they started in the first half, in the second half. The game opened up and, uh, and from then on I thought we were great. I thought the game management was brilliant. When boys had to stick their, their, their head on stuff, they did. When they had to pass out, they did. I thought the substitutes were, were fantastic. Lundstrom was, was amazing when he came on. Mousset gave us a stretch in the, in the game. Um, and people really grew into the game. And um, it's, you know, a huge three points for us. I know you say that effort and commitment is an absolute bare minimum with this team, but you really restricted Crystal Palace today, didn't you? Dino has only had a, a couple of saves to make. Yeah, there was obviously a ball that flashed across the face of the goal first half from, from Zaha, um, and uh, you would expect that. You know, you're talking, you're talking a guy who's worth, you know, or who's, who's been valued at 80, 90 million pounds, and you look at their team, they're established. Premier League players, got Gary Cahill in, you've got all sorts of players, Townsend coming off the bench. It's Premier League, you know, I said to before to the boys, don't expect it to be an easy ride, expect this to be, you know, one of your toughest games this season, or, or if not the toughest, the next one is always going to be that way. Um, as I said, we didn't really get, us, get ourselves going first off with the ball, but, you know, uh, I'm sure when uh, when we're, we're all travelling back to Sheffield tonight, it, that won't... Uh, that won't be uh, 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 the first thing that people talk about. We'll talk about, yet yeah, again, quality, the character and what they're doing. And, uh, you know, um, position-wise, points-wise, attitude-wise of the group. Fantastic January transfer window. Great result today. And, um, and uh, it's, uh, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's a good place to be in at the moment. The overturn red cards. What did you make of that? Did you think Andy Mandley got it right in the end? Correct. Yeah. I think you know my stance on on, uh, on players staying on the feet and and and, uh, and the game being competitive. Uh, George's first yellow card was was harsh. Um, I, I've got to say we'd have been extremely disappointed if he'd got booked for the booked for the second one. But everybody was up, up. You know their players around the referee. Uh, he was strong. He made the right decision. He was strong and made the right decision for for Joel Ward's. Um, uh, uh, red card, and I'm, I've got no problem with that. I, I thought he would when he went and looked over. I thought he would get overturned. I said that to to, to Ray Lewington, and, um, uh, and and as I said, you look right through the game. Other players have been booked and then fouled and fouled and fouled. So he was consistent with that right the way through, and that's I mean that's all managers are looking for. And good to see him use the, the monitor. I know it's something we've talked about all season. Wonder, it I've seems got, like a no-brainer to me. I've got to say, Adam, I wonder where he's, where he's off to, like. <laughs> thought, I, I actually thought that he was bringing it back for a foul over that far side that VAR had picked on. I wondered where he was off to, and then all of a sudden, somebody then, I think he's going to go over to have a look at the monitor. Um, so, I, I, I would have been devastated if one of our boys got sent off for that. I think, you know, as I said, conditions were ripped. You know, we talk about the performance levels, and, you know, it wasn't free-flowing game from both sides. But I think the conditions really contributed to that you know it's, it's an extremely windy day the pitch was dry 
you didn't really have time to pass the ball. It was a sort of a, a real, you know, physical tight battle, um, and one that was always going to be decided by by one goal. And, and, and fabulous that we've we've managed to get the goal and get the win.